fog on the river this morning, which is a very rare occurrence. The country much as it was yesterday, with this difference that the bottoms are somewhat wider, past some high black bluffs. Saw immense herds of buffalo today, also elk, deer, wolves, and antelope. Passed three large creeks, one on the starboard and two on the larboard side, neither of which had any running water. Captain Clark walked on shore and killed a very fine buffalo cow. I felt an inclination to eat some veal and walked on shore and killed a very fine buffalo calf and a large wolf, much the whitest I had seen. It was quite as white as the wool of the common sheep. One of the party wounded a brown bear very badly, but being alone, did not think it proper to pursue him. In the evening, the men in two of the rear canoes discovered a large brown bear lying in the open grounds about 300 paces from the river, and six of them went out to attack him, all good hunters. They took the advantage of a small eminence which concealed them and got within 40 paces of him unperceived. Two of them reserved their fires as had been previously concerted. The four others fired nearly at the same time, and each put his bullet through him. Two of the balls passed through the bulk of both lobes of his lung. In an instant, this monster ran at them with open mouth. The two who had reserved their fires discharged their pieces at him as he came toward them. Both of them struck him, one only slightly, and the other fortunately broke his shoulder. This, however, only retarded his motion for a moment only. The men, unable to reload their guns, took to flight. The bear pursued and had barely nearly overtaken them before they reached the river. Two of the party betook themselves to a canoe, and the others separated and concealed themselves among the willows, reloaded their pieces. Each discharged his piece at him as they had the opportunity. They struck him several times again, but the guns only served to direct the bear to them. In this manner he pursued two of them separately so close that they were obliged to throw aside their guns and pouches and throw themselves into the river, although the bank was nearly twenty feet perpendicular. So enraged was this animal that he plunged into the river only a few feet behind the second man he had compelled to take refuge in the water, when one of those who remained on shore shot him through the head and finally killed him. They then took him on shore and butchered him, when they found eight balls had passed through him in different directions. The bear being old, the flesh was indifferent. They therefore only took the skin and fleece, the latter made of several gallons of oil. 